Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you CQG Desktop's newest feature, the Risk Console. Now, the Risk Console is currently available in CQG Desktop and can be accessed by anyone with the CQG Desktop login. Now, you may be asking, what is the Risk Console? Well, the Risk Console is a conveniently created preset page by CQG, and it allows for users to create formulas for single and multiple account groups and formulas that allow you to write filters based on various risk scenarios. You can also use heat maps for a quick view of account status, and you can access CQG's library pre-built custom formulas to get started. That being said, CQG does provide its users with a plethora of custom formulas and they really make things convenient. But if you do not like any of these formulas or do need to create a specific formula, you can do so as well. It's worth mentioning that we already have a video on CQG Desktop on how to create custom formulas. So I'll be placing that in a tab in the top right hand corner that you can click on right now, or you can check it out in the link in the description. As I will not be going into too many custom formulas, I just want to show you the basic of this new Risk Console page. So to access the Risk Console page, head over to the left hand side of your screen and expand the Pages tab. Click on More. And if we scroll down to add a new page, you will notice that the newest preset page has been added, Risk Console. So if we click on that, our Risk Console will open up. Now the Risk Console page is not necessarily needed for trading on this platform, but it does make things very convenient. This is due to the fact that you can actually put widgets on any page in this platform or even create your own custom page. So as I said, it is not necessarily needed but CQG has made things very convenient for customers and you're able to switch between, between pages on the fly. Heading back to the Risk Console, there's a few things to take note of. In the top left-hand corner, this is where our first custom formula or preset formula will be displayed. By default, it should be the purchasing power minus margin is less than 50. And if we take a look at this drop-down menu, this is where all the preset formulas are currently located. And as I mentioned before, and I will mention again, this is all based on personal preference. And this platform is great because you can customize it to your liking. If you don't want this formula or you want this to dis be displayed in a different way, just simply click on a different formula. You can go down here to select accounts and you can put your account here rather than having a, a formula displayed. Or if we click down back on that drop down menu and go to create a custom filter, we can create our own custom formula. And as I said, I have another video showing this off, which I will be linking in the description. To right over here, we have a formula displaying accounts with negative balance. And again, you can change this formula to your liking if you need so. Down on our bottom left, we have our accounts being displayed and it is currently being displayed by all accounts. If you have a specific account that you would like to display, click on this drop down menu go to select accounts and pick the account you'd like to specifically trade with or be displayed. I only have one account that can be displayed. So if I click on my demo account, click OK, my demo account summary is now being displayed. On the tab to the right of our account summary widget, we have a formulas widget. This just shows off all your current formulas or all the custom formulas you have in place and the conditions, the origins and the syntax of it. If we head over to the right, we have an orders tab, which currently shows your filled and current orders being displayed on the account. And to the right of that, we have visual heat maps that you can configure to quickly view all of your account information. You can select right here the account that you would like to be displayed or the formula to be visualized on your heat maps. And to the right in the three vertical dots, we can select the style. There's a full style a visual which is for a single account or we have the heat map and in your heat map you can select specific formulas to show the specific information that you'd want to be displayed. The risk console page by no means was needed to be added by CQG but I think it creates great convenience for traders who want to stick to the basics rather than messing around with all the customization in this platform and just get down to trading. Thanks for watching. If this video helped feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email.
Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.